Hi again, everyone, and uh, welcome to the August 17th edition of Dave's vlog, which is a name that clearly needs some work. I'm going to need to think on something a bit better there. Uh, maybe Pearls of Wisdom might be the right name. Uh, the Pearl is the name of my lab here at Western, and I'll, uh, I'll describe that more in a subsequent uh, post. Uh, today I want to talk just quickly about another professional development opportunity that uh, I'm involved with coming up. Um, I promise not every one of these posts is going to be about uh, my PD stuff, but it just happens to be a busy professional development time of year, so uh, it's kind of top of mind. Uh, the next one that we've got coming up is called the, uh, the Assess, Predict, Treat, or APT Workshop. Uh, this is one that I do with my good friend and colleague Jim Elliott from Northwestern University in Chicago. Uh, this is again a two-day workshop and it, uh, it focuses on uh, neck pain, uh, specifically which happens to be the area that both Jim and I focus on most uh, academically as well as clinically. Uh, the Assess, Predict, Treat workshops were born out of a desire to try and present, let's call it a common sense approach to the complex business of dealing with humans. Many people who are familiar with uh, the field of neck pain and low back pain and, and other musculoskeletal disorders will recognize that there's been a lot of work recently trying to classify uh, these different disorders. And uh, whether that be treatment-based classifications, prognosis-based classifications, mechanism-based uh, classifications. And uh, I think these are all noble goals, and in fact, I continue to work on them uh, myself. But we've also come to recognize that, um, you know, at the end of the day, it may become a bit of a fool's errand, and, and I mean that in, in as respectfully a way as I can, um, because, boy, it's hard to identify classifications of humans. Uh, we are all so individual, and uh, I'm reminded of a talk that uh, another person I consider a friend as well as a mentor uh, Gwen Jell gave, uh, I want to say it was maybe last year at WCPT or possibly the year before at IFOMT, uh, where she sort, of, she, she sort of showed the folly of trying to arrive at classifications, meaningful classifications for neck pain. Uh, she presented this sort of web of, uh, of potential classifications and mechanistic links and the whole nine yards. And indeed, I can say from having been in this field now for 10 years uh, in the academic side of things, that the more layers of this onion we peel away, uh, yeah, the more complex the picture gets. Uh, it is hard to classify people. Uh, we're very messy uh, as humans. And so anyway, uh, the point of the APT workshops is to, provide, to present a different approach to trying to um, evaluate and understand the experience of neck pain in particular. Um, but it doesn't have to be specific to neck pain. Uh, Jim and I both believe that the APT approach um, can be applicable across different musculoskeletal disorders. So assess, predict, treat is uh, the, the, the focus or the flow of the two days of the workshop. The idea being that um, treatment should flow out of good assessment, good assessment should lead into a prognosis. Um, and that if you assess properly, uh, first of all, you identify those people that probably don't need a whole lot of our help and really should just be allowed to let sort of nature take its course. We'll also identify those people uh, that perhaps are at a high risk of developing or going on to develop chronic problems and maybe need a little bit more um, involved help early on. And then there's that sort of big mid-group uh, that we spend a lot of time talking about and talking about different ways to assess and evaluate um, potential mechanistic um, um, aspects of their, of their pain experience. Uh, Jim is a, a well-known and well-respected imaging researcher, uh, as well as being a physio, and my focus is really on uh, measurement science and psychometrics in particular. And between the two of us, we're allowed, we, we sort of play off each other to give kind of a nice, well-rounded picture of overall what the experience of neck pain is from a biological, psychological, and social um, perspective. Uh, for some of you will have seen, if you've seen me present or Jim present in the past, you may have seen how we use radar plots and the concepts of triangulation to try and simplify these very complex uh, conditions. And so that is a lot of what our two-day APT workshops are focused on, such that by the end of the two days, uh, our participants walk away with concrete tools that they can use, um, validated tools that have been uh, published in literature, some of which we've developed ourselves, others um, have been developed by other people. Um, but all of which I'm fairly confident in are giving you good information. 
Uh, but beyond that, it uh, it also helps uh, helps our participants learn how to critically evaluate new information as it's coming out and decide uh, whether it's it's applicable to their practice or not. And then, of course, we have a, a whole practical component and uh, really focusing on ways to evaluate uh, different aspects of pain as well as uh, the musculoskeletal function and ways to treat that. So the next one we've got coming up, uh, I've just got it on my computer over here, is at uh, David Evans uh, Clinic in East Toronto Orthopedic and Sports Injuries Clinic uh, in Toronto. Uh, the course is October 22nd and 23rd. Um, the uh, website I'm going to put in the comments section below this video for those of you who are going to be in the Toronto area uh, in October and would be keen to join Jim and I for a couple of days of uh, frankly a lot of fun uh, as well as a lot of learning. Uh, we're quite confident uh, or quite quite pleased actually I should say with uh, the response we've gotten to these workshops in the past. Uh, we've presented them now in in Canada, uh, out in Calgary, uh, in San Francisco, in Dublin, um, in, in a number of different areas and and frankly, I think each time they get a little bit better, and uh, and we, we just get to relax and, and just have some fun with it. Uh, so we'd love to see you out there. And again, the link is in the uh, in the sh in the comments on the bottom. And uh, I'll see you next time.